If you've been with me for a minute, then you know that I'm no stranger to buying physical media, especially retro games the majority of the time. But I was thinking in the last few days, especially with the news with Gran Turismo 7, yeah, I don't even want to get started with that. Today I got time, Gus! It's becoming more and more clear in the last decade that video game consoles are moving away from optical discs. I'm honestly finding myself frustrated every year when I buy physical games, whether it's on my Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox. I mean, basically you're just installing game data onto the system hard drive and you're required to use a disc every time if you bought a physical copy of the game. Mostly it's just a digital rights media management check. I mean, and plus on top of it, it requires a big patch update that's not even uh, coming from the disc at all just from the hard drive in the system itself. I mean, games don't even come with manuals anymore, and that's another uh, deal breaker for me. I remember when I got Metroid Dread, I remember like opening that case up and being very disappointed that it was nothing in there but the game. But I guess I should have felt that way with previous games I bought, especially in the last generation of the PlayStation 3, because on their way out, there weren't really any manuals in that at all. I mean, it's just really not the same anymore in comparison to just loading physical discs on the console. And I mean, at this point, I think I'm just creating clutter at this point. Maybe it's just me, I'm stuck in the past. I mean, I can remember the excitement of just going to Funko Land, EB Games, Walmart, Toys R Us, or hell, even Best Buy to get video games and just loading them into my console when I got home, whether it was a cartridge or an optical disc at the time. But it just seems like buying physical games for this new generation of consoles is just not even worth it at this point. But I feel like I need to have it anyway just for licensing issues, but I realize it don't really mean shit. You know, with DRM, apparently it said that your license for the game you purchase digitally can get revoked any time, but that's personally never happened to me. I mean, I have games all the way from 2007 that I installed on Steam that I still have access to. Hell, I even have games all the way from 10 years ago that I've installed on my PlayStation 3 that I can still load up any time. So I've never had any issues. I guess most of the time licenses have been revoked if you tried to modify the game. Or whatnot, I guess that's the main consequence of it all, but that's personally never happened to me whatsoever. So I guess I don't have too many arguments with buying digital media because I never really had any complications at all in the past. Despite how I feel about buying physical games now, I guess there is still some value in it. I mean, you could still and trade it in. I don't think you're going to get much back for it, especially if you're going to GameStop. No offense to GameStop, but I mean, you can also get a better sale on physical games. I mean, I can't tell you how many times Amazon has been there for me, especially Best Buy compared to buying on the PlayStation Store and the Nintendo eShop. Xbox Marketplace has always been good to me when it came to sales, so I can't say nothing at all. Hell, to even top that, I'll say Steam had the best sales when it came to um, getting games at period. <laughs> Now, I'm not trying to discourage anybody from buying physical media for this current gen of games. If you want to continue to do it as a hobby and you're a collector, go ahead and do it. I'm just trying to get my point across and I'm starting to realize I didn't have to collect these games at all, especially for the PS4 when I was heavy into the PS4. I have like over 60 physical games for the PS4 and I probably should have stopped then, but I just kept going. But now I'm just realizing it's just no need to have it anymore. What I realized, especially with the release of Gran Turismo 7, I mean, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, they could revoke that license anytime whether you bought a physical version of the game or a digital version of the game. I mean, outside of being a gamer and a video game collector, I mean, I'll continue to buy physical games selectively, but maybe collector's editions in particular. Anything that grabs my interest at limited run, I know I have Forspoken on pre-order, a physical copy of that, but that's not coming out until October, so that's fully paid for already. So Best Buy already took the money out of my account for that. But, I mean, I'll continue to buy retro games, you know, for the most part. You know, Sega Saturn, Sega, Sega CD, PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games, but in this generation, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and Switch, I'm just going to go forward with digital games at this point. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And make sure you like the video, and please, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to me for more awesome content in the future, and ring that notification bell. That helps a lot. This is Drex, and I am out.